Hello, 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 everyone. How are you guys doing this Labor Day? What are we talking about today? We're always talking about something. Huh. I have something to share with you all, right? Ooh, let me get ready. So, let me tell you about my experience yesterday. Um, a friend of mine's mother passed and I went to her funeral yesterday. And I'm just gonna say this right here, humble. I'm so humbled, I'm so grateful. Like, if you want to um, appreciate life, huh? If you want to get where you need to be at, you know, get your mind where you need to be at, and start focusing on the little things that we take for granted, right? Like waking up every day. Go to a funeral, right? Go to a funeral. I promise you that is a, that's a wake up call. That's an eye opener. And when I tell you, um, like I said, it's a friend of mine. I've never met her mother, but the funeral, let my work here speak for my for itself. I felt like the stories I heard, the love I seen shared, I felt like I met her. And I met her through what everybody, the stories I the stories that were told about her. Like it was just so much love. It was so much love in the room. It was so much love in the building. I felt like I was in a movie. Like it just felt so unreal and I know that we you know it a funeral is like I really don't like attending I just I don't it's not because I not and it, here's my personal opinion about it how I feel about it it's a bunch of emotions that I can't control and I know that and I, I have a problem with with that you know I feel like you know I don't know it's, it's kind of hard it's like you're gonna you're gonna cry you just are I don't care how hard and how tough you think you are if you got any kind of heart, period, right? You're just gonna, you feel it. You might not even know the person. I could be watching a movie and I can feel stuff, right? If I feel it's real, if I, I can just feel that. I, I have empathy for people. You know, I just do, I'm a genuine person, right? And when I tell you, it reminded me of, um, it's just something I've seen on TV. Like, remember the, remember, remember the movie, The Color Purple? When Suge um, had her dad had they had beef or whatever, and she came to his church. She was in the, she was in the club singing, right? But she ended up coming to his church and she was singing that song. Oh, I can't think of it. I'm, I, when I get excited, I can't think. Oh, she was singing that song. I can't think of the name of it. But it just felt it when I say the choir. And let me let me let me give you the let me give you. I'm trying to paint the visual of, of, of what I experienced. So you go in the church. It's a big it's a big church. Um, the pews are like slanted right here, right? Then behind the, where the pastor preaches is the congregation. And they have chairs up there. It's not like a choir over here, a choir. It's like a, a just big section with just a choir, right? And when I tell you, <laughs> man, they started off, you know, singing and it just, the room just got full. Like after every song, it was just full, 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 full. And it was just so much emotion. It was so much love. Let my work here speak for itself. And that's what we, that's what we living for, right? When we, when we leave here, we want, we want to leave something with, you know, we want, we want to make an impression on people. So here's the impression. Loving, caring person, help anybody that she could. Was always in a good mood, was always smiling. If you ask her to do something, she always did it, was always there. And loved to cook. Loved to cook. I was hungry, so I kept that kept that kept playing back in my head. <laughs> loved to cook, loved to bake. And everybody just was the go-to person, you know, from, from her friends to her grandson speaking. It was so much love built in that room, in that place. Man, I can't even describe it. I can't. But what I'm here to say about that experience we are not promised the next day right we take life for granted some of us do like you know when you wake up in the morning i'm having a bad day you know you having a bad day when you don't know you woke up you having a bad day when you ain't here no more think about it right you got a chance to do you got a chance to do something different you got a chance to to change 
You know, every day you wake up is a chance. You have another chance of life, right? You do. We take things for granted, take simple things for granted. If you got a problem, if you got a beef, if you got any animosity to another person, man, go to a funeral. I promise you, you don't want to call that person and say, you know what? We ain't got no problem. We cool. I, I, I forgive you. I love you. Because when that person not here no more, you can't tell them that, right? And I think people just got a lot of stuff going on that really ain't important. It's not that big. It's just not. It's just not. And that made me appreciate life and my experiences, period. We're here for a reason. We're here. Every day you wake up, you got another chance to do something, to get it right, to accomplish that dream. Do whatever it is you want to do. Every day you wake up, you got a chance to do it. Right? We take life for granted. There's people that are dead and gone. And they're never coming back. They're not. Right? Oh, I was just so humbled by that. I so I was so humbled. Um, and I just was just thankful and grateful to be um, in that experience. To witness the love. The love. It was a celebration. I know some people don't want to look at a funeral as a celebration because people are just mad and just angry and hurt. And I get that. You're entitled to all these emotions. Feel them. Feel them. It's okay. It's, and it's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be happy. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be in the moment. A lot of times people don't want to be in the moment. Sometimes myself as well. A lot of times we don't want to be in the moment because we're scared of how it looks and what people think and how, and you know, how you going to feel about it. It's okay to be in the moment. It is. It is. Be glad that you're able to be in the moment because some people are not anymore. Give people their flowers. Tell them that you love them while they're alive. Because when they're gone, there's nothing you can say to them. There's nothing. They're gone. But guess what? Let me give you, let me give you the, 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 the awesome part about that. You have that experience. You have those experiences. You have those memories. You have those pictures. You have those moments here. Right in here. And nobody can take that from you. Nobody. Nobody. And I wish, I, I, I have been to places and I have experienced things, but I, and I feel like I'm just like, you ever go places and you're, you're, you're there, but you're not, you're just, you're just present, but you're not really there. I was present. I was just, I was in it. And I, fe and I felt it. I, I, felt, I felt so much stuff. I felt so much stuff, and I wanted to share this yesterday, but I was just, I was so full, like I, could, I couldn't do it. It wasn't, it wasn't time for it, right, for me, you know. And when I tell you, oh man, grateful, thankful, um, just humble, just humble. I have never witnessed such an awesome celebration about someone's life. Never witnessed that. Never witnessed in that way. I've witnessed things, but not in that way. And it just, like I said, the more I start working on myself, the more I start getting to know who I am. Oh, I, I'm just so, I'm so empowered by little experiences, big, big experiences that I have, that I encounter. People, places, things. Like, I'm not just present. I'm, I'm just, I'm all the way in. You know, I'm all the way in because I'm seeing what I can take from this. And, you know, I wanted to take notes. I wanted to do a video, but it's not, you can't, you know, record. But, you you know, it's, it's it's a time and a place for everything. And that was not the time nor the place for it. So that's why I'm here sharing my experience with you. We're not here forever. We're not soon. I mean, we're not, we don't know when, right? We're going to all have that, have that experience to us to our loved ones, friends, family. We're going to have that experience. So let me tell you, every day you wake up, it's another chance to tell somebody you love them, to follow that dream, to whatever it is you want to do, do it. Because every day is not promised to you. It's just not. So give people their flowers while they're alive. 
spend time with them you know tell them you love them just be there for them if you can because when they're gone they don't know you crying falling out and all that stuff no they don't know that stuff so be there for them while they're here because when they're gone ain't nothing you can do about that nothing at all so i just want to share my experience humble 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 humbled humbled so humbled i'm loving life i'm enjoying life i'm enjoying the experiences along the way am i perfect not at all will i always do it right not at all but i accept me and i love me and i love you and every day you wake up it's another chance it's another chance it's another day so give people their flowers where they're alive may your work here you're doing now speak for itself when you're gone because when you're gone you're gone peace that's all i got